Breaking news, Kang actor Jonathan Majors has been found guilty of assault in New York and has been officially dropped by Marvel. The verdict was reached Monday by a six-person jury after over four hours of deliberation spread across three days. The actor is set to be sentenced on February 6th. A New York jury found Marvel actor Jonathan Majors guilty of reckless assault in the third degree and guilty of harassment. The charges carry up to a sentence of one year in prison. In total, Majors faced four charges of assault, aggravated harassment, and harassment after he called 911 on March 25th when he said he found his ex-partner, Grace Jabari, Jabari unconscious in their apartment. Police arrested Majors after finding apparent injuries on Jabari, including a laceration behind her ear and a bruised and fractured finger. Majors pleaded not guilty to all charges. Of the two charges, he was not found guilty of intentional assault in the third degree and not guilty of aggravated assault in the second degree. Jonathan Majors' lawyer came out with a statement saying, It's clear that the jury did not believe Grace Jabari's story of what happened in the SCV because they found that Mr. Majors did not intentionally cause any injuries to her. We are grateful for that. We are disappointed, however, that despite Despite not believing Mr. Bari, the jury nevertheless found that Mr. Majors was somehow reckless while she was attacking him. And of course, Grace Jabari's lawyer had a statement as well saying, Justice has been served by today's verdict. We are thankful to the jury, the court, and the Manhattan District Attorney's Office for giving this case the time and attention that it merits. Today has shown us that no abuser, no matter how powerful they may seem, is above the law. And of course, shortly after the verdict was read, and I mean like moments after, he was officially dropped by Marvel. So they were obviously sitting there waiting to be like, all right, not guilty. We've got this statement. Guilty. We're going to shred his contract right here, right now. The case was not televised, but we have a lot of details about the case from inside. Jabari took the witness stand for the first four days of the trial. He said that Majors caused the injuries during an altercation in the car several hours before. She testified that the alleged incident occurred in a private car when she saw a text on Majors' phone that read, quote, oh, how I want to be kissing you. Jabari had said she tried tried to snatch the phone from Majors, who then pried her finger from the phone, grabbed her arm and right hand, twisted her forearm, and struck her head to get the phone away from her. The first three charges of misdemeanor offenses related to the alleged incidences in the car. The fourth charge of harassment relates to the uh, allegation that Majors threw Jabari back into the car as she tried to exit. The defense alleged he placed her back in the car to stop her from running into traffic. That action is captured on surveillance video, which the altercation inside the car was not captured on camera. At first, Marvel didn't present any actions. However, his management did drop him. His publicist dropped him, and the Disney-owned Searchlight Features removed Magazine Dreams from its release calendar. Jonathan Majors was there for every day of the trial. However, he opted to never take the stand. Jonathan Jonathan Majors' attorney implied that Jabari had injured herself after drinking throughout the evening and then returning to their shared apartment and taking sleeping pills. Majors, who had stayed at the hotel after leaving the car, returned to the apartment in the morning and called 911 after reporting that he found Jabari unconscious. In addition to video surveillance footage, which also included footage of Jabari at the club, evidence shown to the jury by prosecutors included photos Jabari took of her bruised hand and laceration behind her ear while back at the apartment, and body cam footage from officers when they arrived. Prosecutors alleged a pattern of abuse, which they said explained why Jabari had not immediately told police officers the Majors had caused the injuries. In one of the texts sent between Majors and Jabari in September of 2022, Majors appeared to dissuade Jabari from seeking medical attention for an injury. Uh, how she sustained injury was not discussed. Quote, they will ask you questions, and as I don't think you actually protect us, it will lead to an investigation even if you do lie and they suspect something. So now, moments after the verdict came in, Variety is now reporting by sources close to Marvel that they've officially cut ties with Jonathan Majors in every way. Ever since he was arrested, and obviously in the two weeks it's taken to do this entire uh, court case, there's been a lot of speculation as to what Marvel's going to do. Uh, obviously, the Kang character is someone who's very easy to recast just by the nature of the character. However, it was rumored that uh, his contract, because of how easy it would be to recast the character, uh, dictates specifically that no one else can play Kang. So because of that, if they can't do Kang at all, it's been uh, theorized that they are now going to pivot for the big bad of this new saga, this new overarching, you know, 10-year expansion to be Doctor Doom, especially when they're introducing uh, the new Fantastic Four very shortly. And that's the story. Check back in in February and we'll talk about the sentencing. Again, this holds up to a year in prison. And uh, here's a kitty. It's a good way to end it. Here's a kitty cat. Bye, everybody.